earth spots. A brief introduction here will be exceptionally helpful in seeing connections that aren't otherwise so easy to see. As we described in Chapter 7 of our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, the Earth and the Sun have remarkable electromagnetic and physical similarities. Let's start with the magnetic field. The Sun has both polar fields that wrap around from pole to pole and lower level field connections across the Sun's equator at lower latitudes called L-shells. Earth also has the pole to pole connecting fields and the L-shell magnetic fields across the equator connecting lower latitudes. But then we go and we look at the sunspots. There is a central core umbra and then penumbral plasma around it molded by the electromagnetic environment into spiral shaped radial string curves as they move outward. The sunspots are always flashing with low level nano flares that look like solar lightning and when they release big time explode in high energy light and blast material outward in a solar flare and CME. Hurricanes have a central core as well, the eye, the exact same shaped cloud lines around the outside. Earthly storms are constantly flashing with low level lightning and in the biggest flashes release high energy gamma ray light and matter upward and out into space. This doesn't just apply to hurricanes, but all low pressure storms. The similarities are both in physical characteristics and in the energetic release, but there's more on the sun. The positive and negatively charged sunspots are connected by a circuit of magnetic arches. On Earth, it's the low and high pressure cells that are connected by the global electric circuit, sunspots and Earth spots. Now with that in mind, I'll leave you with the satellite images of Hurricane Lee in the Atlantic from this morning, the geocolor low altitude signatures and high altitude signatures. See what you see and enjoy.